Uh, hi guys, my name is Joseph Kalimbu and I just wanted to comment on the video that came out yesterday in my individual capacity. That is, let me make that very clear. Now the video that came out yesterday from Russia was very unfortunate where we saw a head of state from within SADC issue the regulatory terms, speak about things of another nation. You see, the West have just begun consolidating their power in Zambia, our next neighbor. You know, there was a time when Zambia and Zimbabwe were one. It was called the Northern and Southern Rhodesia. It was one by the British, but they were now separate. And the Americans are consolidating their power in that country, both in terms of security and in terms of uh, financial support to Zambia, to make sure that we feel lonely. But what was spoken yesterday by the president of Zimbabwe was very unfortunate, and uh, we must be able to correct that narrative that one nation must be able to choose the friends of another. The direct foreign policy of one nation must be pursued by that nation without another nation trying to choose the friends of that country. Now, when words are being spoken, words that have got the potential to divide us are being spoken, we must correct that narrative because these words will be listened to by the next generation of leaders and they'll feel we are enemies when we are not. We've always been friends and we must pursue friendships. We must pursue peace before confrontation. And we must never in any way confront each other. Diplomacy entails that we sit on the table and discuss conversations that matter. This is the politics that we must pursue. We must never go across the oceans to speak ill of other nations. That should never be the politics that this region must pursue. And so those words that were spoken yesterday by the president of Zimbabwe we must correct that narrative to say it was wrong for him to go to another nation and speak about the foreign policy of Zambia. Zambia is a nation that has always pursued peace. The words that were spoken yesterday were very unfortunate, especially at a time that Sadiq is set to meet for a Sadiq summit in Harare. We must unite. We must unite to ensure that our region continues to enjoy the peace that we've always enjoyed. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into some intriguing international politics. So, President Emerson Mnangagwa of Zimbabwe recently had a meeting with Russia's President Vladimir Putin and there are some really fascinating points to unpack from that discussion. First off, Mnangagwa made a direct plea to Putin for support in defense and food security. He emphasized that the United States is strengthening its influence in Zambia, both in security and financial support, which Mnangagwa sees as a move to isolate Zimbabwe. He literally said it's to make Zimbabwe feel lonely. Quite a dramatic way to put it, right? Another point that stood out was Manungagwa's complaint about Western countries favoring Zambia and Malawi. He expressed his frustration to Putin, indicating that Zimbabwe is being sidelined. This is pretty significant because it highlights the geopolitical tug-of-war happening in southern Africa. Manungagwa also invited Russia to explore agricultural and mining opportunities in Zimbabwe. This isn't just about economic collaboration, it's a strategic move to bolster Zimbabwe's economy and counterbalance Western influence in the region. The timing is crucial, especially with the US ramping up its ties with Zambia. Now, let's check out some comments and see what people are saying about this. One commenter, Joseph Kalimbe from Zambia, had some thoughts. Joseph, if you're watching, thanks for sharing your perspective. It's always interesting to hear from people directly affected by these political maneuvers. So, what do you all think about this? Is Zimbabwe right to seek closer ties with Russia? How do you feel about the US increasing its support in Zambia? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get the conversation going. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our deep dives into global politics. See you next time.